Welcome back. Today we are going to continue our lesson on trapezoids and kites, and we're going to focus in now on the kite. A kite is a quadrilateral with two distinct pairs of consecutive congruent sides. Okay, so what that means is a kite looks about like this. So consecutive means like two in a row. So here and here, they're right by each other. They are congruent. And then these two are also congruent, but they're not all congruent to each other. If all four were congruent to each other, then it would be a rhombus. So I've got two here congruent and then two here that are congruent. Okay, so here are a couple theorems about kites. If a quadrilateral is a kite, then its diagonals are perpendicular. Okay, so here I've got diagonals that form a right angle. They are perpendicular to each other. So if quadrilateral ABCD here is a kite, and it is because I have a pair of congruent sides here and then a different pair of congruent sides here, so it's definitely a kite. If it is a kite, then its diagonals, AC, segment AC, will be perpendicular to segment BD. Also, if a quadrilateral is a kite, then exactly one pair of opposite angles are congruent. So if ABCD here is a kite, which it is because one pair of congruent sides here, another pair of congruent sides here, then there is exactly one pair of opposite angles that is congruent, which means one pair will be congruent and the other pair cannot be, so that it remains exactly one pair. So if this is a kite, then angle A and C will be congruent. Angle A is congruent to angle C, but angle B is definitely not congruent to angle D. There can be one pair and only one of congruent sides. I'm sorry, of congruent angles, opposite congruent angles. So here we're going to find the measure of angle T. Uh, here's 70 and 80, angles Q and S are not congruent, which means that T and R will have to be congruent angles because it is a kite. And I know that because one pair of congruent sides here and a different pair of congruent sides here. So it is a kite, and one pair of opposite angles must be congruent, one and only one. As a quadrilateral, I know that this has a total of 360 degrees. And remember, if I forget that a quadrilateral has 360 degrees, I can do four sides minus two times 180, which is two times 180 gives me a total of 360 degrees. Okay, so I can call this x degrees, and if this is x degrees, then so is this. So I have two x's plus, and then I have 70 and 88. 70 plus 88 is 158. So 2x plus 158 equals 360. And then I can subtract 158. So I get 2x equals 360 minus 158 is 202. And then I can divide by 2, and 202 divided by 2 is 101. So x is 101. We are asked for the measure of angle T. The measure of angle T equals 101 degrees. Okay, now find the measure of angle G. These two are not congruent, which means these two are. So I will call them both x degrees. So 2x's plus 75 plus 85 is 160. And that equals 360 because a quadrilateral always has a total of 360 degrees. Minus 160. 360 minus 160 is 200. 2x equals 200. 200 divided by 2 is 100. So the measure of angle G 
is 100 degrees. And last, find the length of each segment and the measure of each angle in the kite. So we have 8 here, 34 degrees here, and 25 degrees here. Okay? Now, these two will be the congruent angles. These are not. But this diagonal actually bisects its opposite angles. That doesn't happen here. The congruent angles are not bisected, but the non-congruent angles are. So this is 34 degrees, and this is 25 degrees. One of the diagonals in a kite is bisected, and it's this one right here. So this is 8. Okay, now I also know that diagonals are perpendicular, so I have right angles there. And that leaves me just needing to find some missing side lengths. So I'll find these outsides. Okay, so there's four sides around the outside, and I also need to find this and this. Okay, so let's start here. I'll call this X, and I'll use this 34 degree angle. And I have opposite leg and hypotenuse, so I'm going to use Sokotoa. Opposite and hypotenuse is in so, which means I'm going to use sine. Sine, 34 degrees, is to 1, as the opposite leg, 8, is to the hypotenuse, x. When I have the variable on bottom, and I can do this any time in a proportion, I will switch these diagonally and get x over 1, which is just x, equals 8 over sine 34 degrees. So 8 divided by sine 34 is 14.31. Okay, so that means that this right here is 14.31 and so is this. 14.31, these are congruent to each other. These will also be congruent to each other. Okay, before I go down here, though, let's find this one right here, and I'll keep using this 34 degree angle and opposite and adjacent, so that's TOA now. So we're going to use tangent. Tangent 34 degrees is to 1 as the opposite 8 is to the adjacent, and I'll call that Y. And I can switch diagonally again because I have a variable on bottom. Y equals 8 over tangent 34 degrees, 8 divided by tangent 34 is 11.86. So right here is 11.86, okay? So I have found all the segments on top. Now what I forgot to do earlier here was these two angles here and then these two down here. So I'll get these two right now. These will be the same. So I can do 180, because a triangle has 180, minus 90, minus 34. And I get 56 degrees for both of these two angles. Okay, now I'll find the side lengths down here, and then I'll get these angles at the end. Okay, so I'll call this one here A. And if I use this 25 degree angle right here, I have opposite and hypotenuse, which means sine. Sine 25 degrees is to 1, as the opposite, 8, is to the hypotenuse, A. And again, I've got a variable on bottom, so I will switch and divide. A is 8 over sine 25 degrees. 8 divided by sine 25 is 18.93. So I have 18.93 here and 18.93 here. And then I need this length. I have opposite and adjacent, and I'll call this one B. So opposite and adjacent is tangent. Tangent 25 degrees is to 1, as the opposite 8 is to the adjacent B. 
and once again variable on bottom so I will switch and divide B is 8 over tangent 25 degrees 8 divided by tangent 25 is 17.16 so right here I have 17.16. And the last thing I need to do is find these two angle measures, and they will be the same. I can do 180 for this triangle, minus 25, minus 90. And I get 65 for this angle and for this angle. And now we know the length of every segment and the measure of every angle in that kite.